inside the billion dollar factory like never seen before. Now, guys, let me go off the monologue because the best factory in the world is Tesla. Let's get active. The true value of Tesla lies not just in its products like electric vehicles and battery technology, but it's in manufacturing prowess, a point Elon Musk has highlighted repeatedly. And he often says that Tesla's most valuable intellectual property is the ability to manufacture at scale and speed unmatched by traditional automakers. And let's break down why this manufacturing edge is hidden, yet critical aspect of Tesla's long-term success, one that many investors overlook. Now, Tesla's approach to manufacturing isn't just about simply producing cars. It's about building machines that make the machine. Unlike traditional automakers, Tesla's vertically integrates many of its production processes. And this means they handle most stages of manufacturing in-house. That's vertical integration for you slow guys in the back. And from building vehicles, parts, to creating complex software, Tesla doesn't rely heavily on third-party suppliers. It allows you to control a lot of aspects and giving it more control over production speed, cost, and quality. This level of integration is rare in the auto industry, where most companies depend on an extensive web of suppliers and each adding time, cost, and potential delays to production. Now, Tesla Gigafactories embodies this philosophy. Now, across their factories all over the world, okay? These massive and highly automated factories are designed for efficiency and scalability, allowing Tesla to ramp up production faster and at a lower cost per unit than competitors. Now, Musk describes the gigafactories as a, the product itself, emphasizing that they are as much a technology marvel as the cars they produce. Tesla constantly refines its manufacturing processes within these factories. And guys, most of your companies don't refine the process. You ever try to go to a company and change something about the company and they're like, yo, stay in your lane, stop trying to change things. Yeah, that doesn't happen at Tesla. And seeking ways to cut down on time, cost, and waste. And this approach has led to innovations like the GigaPress, a huge casting machine that produces large, single piece car components drastically reducing the time and the number of parts and simply simplifying the assembly process now by using giga press tesla can reduce labor costs and improve precision and accelerate the production timelines now we're going to go into this video a bit and i'm going to let this play and so you guys can understand things that are happening at the giga factory okay so here we go Inside the factory where Tesla cars are manufactured, you will find both employees and robots. The Cybertruck factory cost Elon Musk $7 billion. Production began in Gigafactory, Texas in Austin. You are now watching the assembly of the Cybertruck windshield, the largest piece of glass in the entire automotive industry. This glass goes from the nose of the car basically all the way above driver. It's shatterproof, bulletproof, and they are sealing out all the noise. Once the Cybertruck's production is ramped, Tesla expects to employ a whopping 60,000 people in Gigafactory, Texas. Similar to Tesla's other factories, the average Tesla salary ranges from approximately $49,000 per year for customer service manager to $173,000 per year for director of engineering. And that doesn't include options and awards with the stock. More than 1 million people had reserved Cybertruck. Tesla shares crash test video of Cybertruck. You can see for yourself that Cybertruck does not seem likely to roll over in a single car accident. We can also say that the passenger cell survives a 35 miles per hour front impact. Though the severe movement of the rear axle in that test is concerning, we also can't speak to how much force the dummies experienced. Ultra hard cold rolled stainless steel. Now let's get back to the processing, all right? Here we go, factory. The production process of Tesla cars starts here. Now remember what I talked about, the press. Here, This gigapress weighs over 400 tons. The sheet metal rolls are laser cut for the manufacturing of body panels. Tesla vehicles are built with a combination of aluminium for lightweighting and high strength steel in safety critical areas of the frame and body. The process begins with pressing the body panels inside a pressing machine of different tonnage. KUKA robots are used through the entire manufacturing process as it is part of the fully automated philosophy by Tesla. The machine that makes the machine, remember we said that. Here the quality of stamped car body parts is checked by human workers. Switch out those workers for Optimus robots. 
Robotic arms are used to combine the panels on the fixture to form the body in white. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first high-voltage vehicle. It is offering the benefit of faster charging, but also potential pitfalls. This car is the only Tesla product dependent on in-house battery cells. In-house battery cells, so we vertically integrate and produce our own batteries. Tesla uses a stamping process to produce the body panels out of cut sheet metal, and the process consists of blanking, piercing, bending, and deep drawing. Fanuc automated robots carry the body panels around in a program trajectory. They are the large red and orange robots you can see inside the Tesla factories. These panels are spot welded by the robots to form the body in white. A medium-sized factory robot, it will work with an accuracy of 0.2 millimeters. The robotic arm carries the fixture with body and white to the next station over a conveyor belt. The welded body in white is dipped in a phosphate tank to increase the surface affinity for paint. 4,680 battery cells will be used in the Cybertruck. Tesla uses cylindrical cells whose electrodes are rolled in sheets inside a housing. Electrodes are coated with graphite and insulation layers. See, everything is processed and automated. Guys, this is technology. The whole factory is at this point. I mean, majority of it, not the entire factory. You still got human workers where the dexterity is a little bit hard for these machines. Meanwhile, the car body is passing through an enclosed automated painting process where different coats are applied. All the work here is done by robotic arms. No human needed, only the control worker of the car factory. The new Tesla Cybertruck have a dual motor, or you could have the Cyberbeast version with three motors and 845 horsepower. Tesla Model Y has two vector-controlled motors distributing torque to the front and the rear. One Tesla assembly line produces about 2,000 cars a week. Have you got a... 2,000 cars a week. See, that's nothing light. Thanks to robotics. Right? That's why I said that is the technology. That's not easy to make all those robots work. All right? You need software engineers. You need programmers. It's a lot that goes with it. The painted body in white is now moved to an illuminated inspection area for checking paint defects from painting room. Now we will move to the main assembly hall. Watch how the seats are assembled. These orange robots work with the precision of a surgeon. Tesla is the fastest automaker on the planet. This factory is bigger than the Pentagon in terms of area, covering more than 10 million square feet of floor space. Bigger than the Pentagon and the most effective and efficient factory in the world. The giant robots that are lifting the car, that's catalog item. These robots have to be programmed the motions. General assembly is place where installation, corrosion protection, airbags, and road noise are installed. Why? Now, let's get a little bit human at this part, but let's kind of skip to the end, all right, so we can get the information. Building superchargers for its electric vehicles right here. So the, now this is another facility that's effective and efficient that creates the superchargers. 1,500 employees work here. Automated spot welding robots join the panels by performing spot welds at designed locations. This Gigafactory has received a delivery of 66 assembly line robots to help with the production of the Cybertruck. 66 robots are not enough for a complete model production line. There is in total around 900 robots in Tesla factory. The Giga Nevada factory is under construction. This additional factory will be for a battery cell testing lab, cathode and drive unit manufacturing facilities, a dye shop. The Tesla Tilburg assembly plant handled final assembly of Tesla Model SX electric vehicles for delivery within Europe. The first 200,000 square feet Tesla facility started final assembly of Tesla Model S cars on the 22nd of August, 20. Who, who's better than us, all right? Let's kind of see like the assembly line of a uh, Harvey, uh, you know, uh, Harley Davidson, or, 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 or the competitors, BYD. BYD is nice, but they're not as good as us, okay? No disrespect to BYD. So what does this mean? 
you know, you saw that I walked through through the video. There are videos that are longer, more extensive. I had previously on the channel. You could check again the video where I had the manager of a different factory, which was the factory for the battery processing, the battery storage factory, which is called Mega Factory, not Giga Factory. Giga for the cars and Mega for the batteries. Net net, he explained the entire process there also, and they had to create many different things because it was the first facility in North America. But anyways, what is this all about? Elon has started that Tesla or stated that Tesla's manufacturing advantage is deeply underrated. And I think it is too. Most people don't speak about it and largely because it's not as flashy as a new car model or software features. But this advantage drives a Tesla's profit margins and scalability. The cars and the, and the batteries, they wouldn't matter if we didn't make a profit. And the reason we make a profit is because of the manufacturing process, right? I mean, a lot of other companies come out with nice cars, but they can't actually make any money. So therefore, all the other EV competitors that you used to know of, like Lucid and, you know, NIO and NEO and all this other stuff, they failed, right? I mean, BYD is the only competitor, right? And it goes down to our manufacturing ability, allowing the company to produce cars at a much lower cost than competitors. And as they refine their manufacturing techniques, they are also setting a new standard for the industry, challenging the traditional methods that legacy automakers have used for decades. And investors who focus only on Tesla's product might miss this point. In reality, the innovation Tesla achieves in its manufacturing process could be a transformative as any breakthrough in its vehicle lineup. And guys, once you see that roll all roll over into the battery storage and they're able to do it for the Optimus and they're able to do it for any other products that they have to create this great manufacturing assembly line for any type of product, it, it gets ridiculous at that point because it's not like, oh, they only can make cars. So it's like, no, they can make batteries too. Oh, well, they can make battery storage vehicles also, or excuse me, battery storage period, battery packs, or they can make power walls, or they can make Optimus robots. Like it, it's continuous on any product. They can make a great manufacturing plant. That's amazing. The impact of Tesla's manufacturing edge extends beyond electric vehicles. And as Tesla expands into energy products and services, these streamlined production techniques will play a critical role in lowering the cost and scaling up new offerings. And essential, Tesla's true competitive advantage is not just its automaker, it's a manufacturing powerhouse that happens to make electric vehicles and other things too. This capability not only enhances their profitability, but also position them uniquely to scale in any future industry they enter. In summary, Tesla's manufacturing is the vital part to its DNA, a core asset that fuels its competitive advantage, drives down costs, and sets the stage for future growth. It's a value that many may not immediately see visible on the surface, but it is critical to understanding Tesla's long-term potential. And if you don't understand it, then you just don't get it. Everyone hates Tesla. Elon for the win. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get this hot electricity. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. You can't control.